All right, we're gonna talk about the hydraulics on a X series here for just a minute. <clears throat> so I was using my X748 to uh, grade the driveway a little bit, try to just get some of the uh, high spots in the mud caused from construction work, some construction work uh, down. And I took, I had to take the 45 loader off, which has been on all winter, which there's the 45 loader. And uh, to do that, you have to, um, this is the diverter valve. Uh, so I, I see an awful lot of questions on these valves right here. Uh, this diverter valve comes, oftentimes comes with a quick hitch if you're buying the quick hitch new. And what it is, is it is actually attached on the underside of the tractor right there. If you can see that, it's right there at the end of um, my finger, right in there. Uh, and you can see how it attaches right there. And what it does is it shuts off the flow. Um, it shuts off the flow to one set of hydraulics because the X series is only an H2. And so there are only two hydraulic outlets, but there are three functions. You have your two functions here on the valve and then you have your mower deck lift and three point lift, which is the same function. And it moves using this cylinder right in there. Let's see if I can get in there. That cylinder right there, which if you installed a three point kit on your machine and it's an X7, you undoubtedly moved the three point cylinder back from the middle of the tractor towards uh, the back of the tractor with that $80 kit. And what this valve part number is AM134. I wrote it down. AM134625 is that valve part number. And basically, what this does is it allows you to use, um, it allows you to shut off the flow to, say, the rear three point when you are using the front end loader. Uh, or if you have a blade on the machine, uh, it allows you to shut off deck lift because what happens is and this is actually somewhat complicated to uh, see when this handle is actuated um, <clears throat> fluid will either have the choice to go out of this port or go out of this port this port right here goes to the back of the tractor whereas this port right here will go to the implement on the front of the tractor whether it be a loader and or uh, it is the quick hitch and by shutting this valve, that fluid no longer has to go to the back of the tractor. It can merely go out this outlet right here. Um, so hopefully that demystifies the um, diverter valve. That's what it looks like uh, actually off the machine. You can see if I was to put this up here, um, how it would look compared to uh, the diverter valve that's on there. So um, next time somebody says, have you checked your diverter valve? Uh, this is what you're looking at <clears throat> and this is what you're checking. All right, so I'm gonna show you the function of diverter valve. Now note that the three point is all the way up and the bucket is curled all the way up. Now I'm gonna curl the bucket down stop I'm gonna switch hands and I'm gonna continue to curl the bucket down and then I'm gonna go back here since there's no weight on the three point three points not gonna go down all that easy like that now I'm gonna pull it all the way up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back on the handle the three points gonna come up and then the uh, cylinder or the front bucket will start to curl up. Now, if I take and I open the diverter valve or close the diverter valve, which I need to shut the machine off to do that. I've relieved all the hydraulic pressure. So now I've closed the diverter valve. I'm gonna start the machine back up. Oh. 
now what's gonna happen is I can curl this, I can curl the front cylinder, and simply put, the three point in the back's not gonna move unless I just really push down on it, which is in it still, it's not gonna move. So, the diverter valve being closed basically seals off the rear hydraulics, so the mower deck's not gonna come up, the three point's not gonna come up, and only the front hydraulics are going to work. That is how the diverter valve works.